Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this iPassport KP62 2.4G wireless that comes with 7 color backlit. It is a mini dual keyboard with full touchpad and IR Learning Air Mouse. So this we're going to control your TV with it. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon. So this way you're going to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, click the like button, smash it this way. Also, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We really love to help you out ASAP. All right, so let's go through it. You can see that the box is nicely designed. Again, when I received it, it was a little bit open. I guess it's the way that it was packaged. And then once you open the box and you take everything out, the components that are part of this little USB cable. One side is USB 2.0 and the other side is just a micro USB so you can connect it that we can charge it. It also came with a user manual. Now this is very cool because it doesn't have many pages just three pages and it gives you a lot of information that you really require for this remote there is a lot of buttons we will cover it and also it talks in a back part of it that what each of them can do for you we do not want to forget that it comes with a little usb dongle this is how it's going to connect it to your android box or even if you want to connect this to your microsoft computer or if you have a Mac PC this will work perfectly with it and again even if you have a Linux PC go ahead connect this little USB and then that way your remote will work as a keyboard and mouse and the last thing is the remote itself so let's take it out it has a nice little sleeve once we take that out too that's really nice again we just opened this I never played with this whatsoever so we will be going through step by step and playing with this to show you how good this is again you can see it from the top all the buttons that you require is here and then you have the navigation keys power button also the light button so this way all the light comes on and also you have the home the menu and the return button you also have the full navigation key underneath of it you have the skip chapter or you want to play music that way it will work and also you have the rewind fast forward and this is basically skipping the chapters itself going underneath of it you have the volume up and down and then page up and down you have the play and pause and also this button will work so you can have an air mouse and then you have the numeric button there too and you have the little delete button right here and you can see in the bottom you can also control your TV and you have some little learning keys right underneath of it and you have a nice looking logo right underneath of that going on the corner side of it you have the buttons now this one says L alright so as you can see these buttons this is for left click and then this one is for mode switch and then if you really pay attention these parts have some LEDs I should say that it has the touchpad LED and then it has the keyboard LED when it comes on for example if you're facing this way to type then this part comes up and then on top of that you have the charging LED and then the charging port so this is where you're going to connect the charge and you also have the mouse right button so I do not know why they didn't put it on this side they positioned it here for the left click and then also they positioned the right click right underneath so right here is the right click so you can click going on the back part of it this part is really nice too again you can see that is very flat it is not set up just like the front you can see the buttons are really risen up and these are different touch pads that you can click on so it has a little pad that comes from inside out that we can use it so this way you're not going to put anything through the cracks or you can get it dirty so again if you get it dirty you can clean it goes back to normal but you can see it's a full keyboard and you have a touch pad on the side and you have the space bars again when you press you don't hear anything it doesn't really click just these parts do you can hear it but not the bottom parts again this is really cool so that we can use it and we will show you how that works going on the other side of it there's nothing here going on the bottom there's nothing and then going back to the same side that we already covered but going on the top nothing so basically this is the whole remote so while you are charging it you can see the led right now just turn red and yes it has no charge whatsoever and that's why we could not use the remote itself so now you can see on the top that the light is blinking that means that it is accepting the charge so we will leave it for about 20 minutes all right so you can see that the remote itself is already connected on one of our android boxes 
On top of that, you have a little button right here. So when you press, it changes color on the remote itself. And as I can see, there are a few different versions of the color that you can see on this. So this way you can play with it a lot better and more. This way we're going to like it more so how everything's set up. But again, it is very accurate in order to play with it. You can click on anything that you wish and it will automatically select. And this way you're going to either click on the mouse so you can go through it or you can just use the navigation key to select app to app so this we're going to open certain apps that you wish and that way it will work for you now the only thing is that that if you go through and you want to turn off the mouse there is a little button right here so you can turn it on and if you want it turned off so this we can use it as a static mouse you can do that too this is a very very good remote all right so this is one part we will go through and show you how it works when we go to the browser itself so now we are in front of the screen itself and you can see that it says google so we will click using the remote itself on the search path and then this part will ask us to type something so now in order to use this remote there is a button right here that you can click so this way the keyboard will be enabled it does make some little noises when we type and you can see it right now that it does make a noise which is a little bit annoying but again if they made it this way for us to to use you can see it's very sensitive in order for you to type but it keeps making that noise so let's type something here and say new remote so this is how easy it is to basically type with this and then when you say enter it just doesn't work right now so we will click here click off the mouse turn on the keyboard and then type the the new remote there you go and then press enter now the enter key does not work so you have to flip and then press and off the key and yes there is a little bit of an issue but let's just try to say just says remote and then we're going to uh, press display right here so that we can search so yes there is some ups and downs when it comes to this and I'm sorry that my voice goes up in and out because of where we are but this is how easy it is to navigate and go through this all right so this is how this is set up it's very nice to change the colors and everything remember that the price is not that much links will be available where you can order it from also if you need more help about this remote ask us question we love to help you out we will be figuring it out how we're going to fix these parts so that way we're going to play with it so that way you're going to be able to fix your tv setup on these buttons and also going to work but if you do want to video for that bottom ask us to make a video for you guys if there is more than one people asking for it we will make a video and this way these guys are going to like it too because they're going to be linking to our video all right so at the meantime like our video also give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel visit our website which is xctext.info and also follow us on instagram and same thing with facebook we have a lot of information there too all right so thank you